In this video, we're going to show you how you can get your PS4 onto your PC by using the PS4 Remote Play. Let's check it out. You gotta be possessed with the tree. The tree. And before we get started, make sure you hit the subscribe button. We put out videos every single week, how-to guides to make your console experience better. Now getting into the video, the very first thing we're going to want to do is go to Google on a PC and type in download PlayStation Remote Play PC. And this will bring you the link that you need in order to download PS4 Remote Play. Once we're on this webpage, PlayStation has done a great job of instructing you step by step how to download PS4 Remote Play. So simply follow the instructions if you have a PC or if you have a Mac. And what it's going to have you do is scroll down and have you download the EXE file that will allow you to set up PS4 Remote Play. Installing the wizard itself, it's super easy. It will simply open up, it will prompt you to pick your language that it's in. You need to accept the agreement and then let it take a minute or two to install. And then once it's installed, you're ready to go. Now, once everything's good to go, let's double click on the PS4 Remote icon and this will bring us into where we need to be in order to get things going. Now, this part can be tricky, so we're going to make sure that you follow along with this PS4 remote checklist that we've made. Now, the first thing that we need to do is turn on our PS4. And the way the PS4 remote play works, the PS4 needs to be turned on and connected to the internet. And that's how it's able to get through the internet to your PC. So it doesn't need to be connected to a TV necessarily. It just needs to be on and connected to the internet. So what we have in our example here is, is my PlayStation is on and the TV in front of me. I do have the TV on, but it doesn't necessarily need to be on. So if you have your PlayStation 4, just turn it on somewhere near you. Or if you're somewhere else where you don't actually have your PS4, have them turn on your PS4. Once your PS4 is on, now we need to connect the controller to the PC. And the best way we found to do this is to hardwire in. If you do have Bluetooth on your laptop or whatever you may be playing on, you can connect it via Bluetooth. We found the easiest way is to plug it into your controller and then just plug it in via USB, the cord that you use to charge your controller. Just plug that right into your PC and then that will connect itself. Once we're all good to go, now we want to hit the start button on the PS4 Remote Play. And this will prompt you to log in your email as well as your password. I made the mistake here and I have no shame showing you guys this. I kept putting in my username. You need to enter in your email as well as your password and that's going to log you into your PS4 name. And again, you want to enter in your email and then your password here, like we're doing on screen, your email, then your password. So once you've entered those two in, then it will start to try to look through the internet to try to find your account. What we recommend is in the bottom left corner, you'll see register manually. We recommend you hit that. Once you hit register manually, again, PlayStation does a great job of showing you exactly where to go. If while you're waiting, your PlayStation is able to search through the internet and actually find your PS4, then you can skip this step. However, we found that sometimes that's not the case. So we just like to register it manually because it's a lot easier and it saves you a little bit of time and saves you a little bit of a headache as well. So in order to do this on screen, we're going to have a video and this is just me running through it. You either need to take another controller and connect it to your PS4. That way you can go through it or you need to disconnect your PC controller. That way you can have control of your PlayStation 4. Now we're going to slow this video down just a little bit. That way, if you missed it, you're able to follow along. These instructions are also on the screen when you hit register manually. So if you need those, go back and look at it where it says register manually. If not, you can follow along on screen. So what you're going to want to do is go to settings, remote play connection, and then you're going to want to hit add device. When you hit add device, it's going to give you a code. Our code right here is 34819527. You're going to want to take that code and then enter it into your PS4 remote play. So what we did here is we took our controller, we disconnected it from the PC, went over to our PS4, went through all these steps, went back to our PC, connected our controller, and then entered this code in. And we apologize if that's confusing. It's just the easiest way that we found is to take the controller over to the PS4 and then bring it back to your PC. Once you do that, however, the good news is you'll be connected to your PS4 and you'll be able to play it as if it was your own PS4 on your own TV, which is great news. And the final item on our list is to make sure you keep the controller connected. You're going to want to disconnect the controller and play freely like you normally would. However, you can't. The controller needs to be connected the entire time. Another few things to note, too. There is going to be lag because the PlayStation 4 is going from your PlayStation through the internet 
onto your PlayStation remote device, there is going to be a little bit of lag time. So if you're looking for precise movements and precise actions, you're not going to get it here. And we test this out by playing a round of Fortnite. There is delay when building. There is a little bit of delay when shooting. It is noticeably delayed. So if you're looking for that clean, no lag experience, you're probably not going to get it. However, you will be able to play the games wherever you are. As long as your PlayStation 4 is, stays on, your controller stays plugged in, you're able to play whatever. So let us know what you guys think in the comment section below. Let us know if this worked for you. If you have questions, let us know also in the comment section below. Make sure you subscribe. Give it a thumbs up and we'll see you guys next time.